Hey there, boards! I'm Great Bird 121 here, back with an Olivid. And uh, this is the end of my adventure series. Well, I am gonna continue it until 2020. But look, this is the last adventure in the whole series. The river's heart. And I happen to be a pro at this adventure, so the vid isn't gonna take long. going to do a hard mode adventure soon. But one week until my new skit comes out. And... Uh, I'll put a playlist of the music that I'm going to use for the skit up on my channel after this video. So that you know what music's gonna be in it. Okay, things just got serious. So, here we go. But the skit's gonna be about the vote for the costumes that I put up. a couple of months ago also don't forget when my skit comes out that means that there's going to be halloween rares in animal jam because that comes out on october 31st there's actually going to be an update to Animal Jam PC on Halloween. I have no idea whether Knights of the Phantoms is going to stay or leave. Something's going to happen. And ostriches are coming to play wild. It's been officially confirmed. We waited all these years and they've chosen to do it in play wild.
so I'm so excited the ostriches are finally coming. Multiply one order because there have been so many times where we just thought they're coming and they haven't been. And eagles will be leaving soon. And also, I want some rainbow feathers in Angry Birds too, but unfortunately, I didn't have time to play round two, and I lost Rowdy. I lost Rowdy Rumble. But don't worry, I still won some rainbow feathers from round one. So that was a bonus. This is where it gets harder. The cork is placed randomly. But there's a secret little treasure through here. That you get if you defeat all the phantoms. If you defeat both, then this happens. And this is a proper treasure chest. Wow, I've been using my Halloween main look so much for my adventure videos now. It's almost got more health. Because if you didn't know, at level 8, you get a fourth heart of health. Okay, what just happened? Why? But it's only been nine minutes, so I'm not gonna give up. This time I'll speed run. And by speed run, I basically mean skipping all of. The 
eat unnecessary stuff. Whoa. Wait, what? I thought I might be able to get out of his sight. But at least I'm regaining all those courage points again. This is going to be very difficult to speed run now. Now it's easier to speed run all of this that we've already been through. You're not able to use the trick that I used with running into the beams in hard mode. Because that means that you drop the item. But this is very easy for getting gems. Because I'm going to have a whole load of gems. Okay, looks like it's not randomly generated. It's always that chest that contains the cork. However, you have to defeat the phantoms if you want that treasure. But I've done it. I've got to the point where it crashed last time. And it took me quite some time less. I think this only took five minutes. I'm just going to go over here quickly. And I'm going to open up. A passage. Because if you have this open, then it leads somewhere. Like the boat opens a passage that leads directly to a treasure chest. 
painting a phantom watchtower. But it must be this way, so you must do what I just did. Okay, there's also a hidden treasure here. When I got this for the first time, I thought it said phantomized armor, and I didn't realize it was a glitch that it was invisible. I thought the armor allowed the player to become invisible. Looks like I'm gonna have to get rid of this phantom. I think there's actually a secret treasure for if you defeat every phantom. However, it's just gems. Oh. Yeah. The real treasure's over here. Phantom Watchtower. And now that I'm at the end of the adventure series, I think I'm going to start putting together a playlist that will be complete when I officially end the series in 2020. I was just about to get to work on that when I realised there is another secret treasure. However, you've got to be careful, as it's the first treasure that officially contains a trap. Like, a trap that damages you. Because most treasures... are just treasure, but this treasure contains a trap, because when you claim the reward inside, it spawns a phantom in those trees. See a phantom snare, and then look. And then this phantom just patrols the pathway. And... Uh... So that's when things start getting a lot harder. Like this phantom spitter is just taking the opportunity of me waiting for the raft. How did I dodge that? But you know that treasure of gems I was talking about that you get for defeating every phantom? It would have appeared around here if I'd earned it. There is actually a glitch if you have enough lag and multiple people playing with you, where the raft just roams across the land. 
like it just slides across the land. And there's also a secret passage here for sheep. And there's also one for foxes. They give different pieces of phantomized furniture. Are you serious? Now? Oh, that could have for like made me need a take two this would have been take two if it didn't reconnect twenty one minutes almost done for Let's just stop with that and get to the true part of the adventure. This is the final bit. I know. I have played this a lot. Did you just see that? Those phantom snares were sticking out of the ground. No. The Puffin Browser is making this so easy. Wow, just as I said that, I went down to half a heart. Wouldn't it be cool if Animal Jam added some kind of regen to this? Like, a healing system, because... That's what healing staffs are supposed to do. But they don't work. Let me try. Because I know I have some healing staffs in my inventory after that wild weekend. Nope, the healing staffs don't work. For a second I thought it actually did work, but then I realised I respawned. I was like, wait, the healing stuff worked? And then I realised, oh, I respawned. It's nice to see the pecs actually helping with this because uh, this is very hard and if uh, you like sit and wait long enough then peck demolishes the whole raid like the whole wave i didn't do any of that just then peck just got all of those phantoms with a paint seed if you're wondering what a paint seed is don't worry we'll get that soon. But I really hope that Animal Jam adds it so that you can use the healing stuff to heal yourself. 
in adventures. I was just about to try and see if they actually have added it. They probably haven't. Wait, I've taken damage. Now's a good time to try it. Healing stuff. Maybe if I click my health bar. Nope. Whoa, I've done it. Four hearts of health. Oh, it's getting a bit too much now. This is literally the best way to get gems. I think this whole adventure is even better than recycling a diamond in the diamond shop. That was so effective that the only thing I think that's left is the spawners. Knew it. I could just spend all day collecting these gems. This isn't a phantom ambush. This is a gem ambush. Final wave. Okay, that's a bit over the top, guys. Oh. It's getting laggy. That's how many phantoms there are. That phantom spitter does not have good aiming. It was actively aiming away from me. Okay, that's literally the end of the adventure, although I have a secret passage to show you. After I get out of this phantom snare. I'm surprised no one has made a montage of me getting stuck in chairs in Play Wild yet.
Right, here we go. Okay, that's a bit of a glitch. The ambush is over. Okay, here we go. Phantomized chair, and now... It's a painty tree. Yet for some sort of uh, glitched reason, it's invisible. So I'll try to remember to include that on my next glitch video on Tuesday. But that's the last adventure. It's the most recent, yet it was made over a year ago. Looks like we're not getting any new adventures. But all those adventures led up to the discovery of Baruch. I mean, the evidence is all there. That was the saber-tooth hard stone. Baruch was that ancient city. They're not going to add anything new to the shops around here, are they? But that's the heartstone that we just saw. And that... That's the Direwolf heartstone. But this looks exactly like the city from the previous adventure in the series. And here's a code you can put in to get a statue. But anyways, looks like that's going to do it for the end of the adventure series. But don't worry, more adventures coming in over... Ember with the seasonal return of twists and turns. But anyways, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!